All right, in this video, we're going to set up the instrument using the set up anywhere routine. You can place the instrument wherever you want on the pad, but I recommend somewhere in the middle um, so you get a good setup. And the main thing we want to do is have a good intersection. That's how this setup anywhere works. So you want to use multiple points to set up on, more than two. Um, I'm going to use all six of these surveyor stakeout points. That's what we're setting up on today. These are column line intersections set by the surveyor. Set by the surveyor. I set them. But we're simulating it. Anyways, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. First thing you want to do is just walk around and make sure that the column line intersection they set matches what you've got in your controller. The other thing I did was I've already added these points to the project and converted them to known points. If you want to know how to do that, there's a separate video on that. Just look at known points. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so go into the job that you want to set up on. Go to Applications. Set up Total Station. Anywhere. All right, it's saying we need to measure two points. Select the first point. This is 1053. I'm going to select 1053. I'm going to plumb up. All right, remote control. Turn the instrument towards me. Okay, so remember, first thing, tell it the point you're about to shoot. Make sure it's locked on. Make sure you're plumb. Now you're ready to take the shot. So we'll press this button. Okay, it turned green. We're ready to take the second shot. Now I'm just going to go over to this one. It's good to make sure it still tracks you. So don't get in front of it. Don't lose uh, your line of sight with it. It'll just make it easier if it's constantly tracking you. All right, I'm on the point. Plum. This is 1054. I'm going to select the point. And then it's tracking me. I'm plumb. I'm telling it what point. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now that I've taken two shots, technically you could finish this setup, but I do not recommend you do that. Since you're doing a setup anywhere routine, if you want to be accurate, you should do at least four. I'm just going to go ahead and do six because that'll give me my best results. In order to add a point, press this plus symbol. That just means we're going to shoot more than two points. And I'm going to go to the third point. Okay, this is 1055. I'm going to select the point. I'm plumb. It's tracking me. I'm ready to take the shot. All right. So you can see over here, it's giving you your average error of all these three points so far. And we're at a 16th, so that's pretty good so far. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to add another point. This is 1050. All right, I'm plumbed up. It's not tracking me. I must have lost it. So I'm going to turn it towards me. All right, and lock it on. It's looking for me. All right, it's tracking me. So I need to select the point. This is 1050. 
I'm plumb. It's tracking me. I'm ready to take the shot. All right. So you can see up here the live Kogo. This is specifically for this point I just shot, and you could tell the difference was a 3 16th of an inch. But what it's doing is it's mixing all these points together, all this information together, to get a really good, accurate location of that instrument. And that's what this overall accuracy is down here. So the more shots you take, the more accurate it's going to be. Even if you set up on two points, just setting up on two points is going to make it look like it's accurate, but in reality, it's, it's not. The more points you add, the more it can define exactly where it's at. Okay, so I'm going to shoot this fifth point. This is 1051. It's tracking me. I'm plumb. I've told it which point I'm about to shoot, and I'm going to take the shot. And you can see on this screen, all these lines are coming to an intersection and it's figuring out where it's at. All right, we're going to keep going and this is the last shot over here. I'm going to add a point. This is 1052. I've selected the point. It's tracking me. I'm plumb. Taking the shot. Okay, so I've measured six points. The accuracy is within one eighth of an inch. Now, if you feel like you've shot any of these bad and you wanna go back and shoot them, you can scroll this over and just click on any one of these and retake the shot. So if I wanted to reshoot 1052, I just click on it. It says remeasure, yes. And uh, I'm gonna take the shot again. Okay, now if you're ready to finish, go to Finish Setup, and it's going to give you all of your numbers here. Now, don't worry about DZ because our elevation isn't set up yet. We're not worried about that right now. All we're looking at is X and Y. Those coordinates look good, and again, you could always go back, remeasure one of these. You can click on one if you don't like it, like Let's just say I don't like this one because it says 3 sixteenths off. I'm just going to remove it. All right. And maybe that will help me be a little more accurate. It didn't seem to change anything because you could see your horizontal deviation is up here. Okay. Now you can adjust your elevation if you wanted to. So I'm going to go over to the benchmark and do that. Click manual height. Okay. So here's our benchmark says to remove this. The top of this is going to be our finished floor elevation. We're calling it zero, zero. Um, you know, this gives us our actual elevation, 289.50, but we're going to call it zero, zero. You can call it 289.50 if you want, and sometimes that's better. So the height is zero, zero. That's already set. We're going to click OK. Now, the only other thing I need to do is tell it what height the prism is. So right now I've got it set. I need to set it to, I'm going to set it to five feet. I'm going to click the target. This is the target height. Change this to five feet. Click OK. Click Next. So it's called HR here because it's the height of reflector. And I'm going to put it on here. Make sure the instrument is still tracking me, obviously. And it's kind of hard to see if it's plumb, but do your best. That looks good. Okay, now I'm just going to hit save. And hit finish setup. Now... One weird thing is that I had all my points turned off. I had all my layers turned off. I had the points. So it must be a glitch, but as soon as you finish your setup, all the points come back on, even though the layers are turned off. To fix that, go to your layers and just turn the layer on and off. And that'll fix that.
All right, we'll hit back. And now you're set up and ready to lay out or whatever you want to do.